Hey, what's going on guys? Lewis here and I uh, wanted to come to you quickly and talk about over sanding. Uh, I'm working in my personal kitchen. We're getting ready to put the house on the market and I had some pretty bad lighting yesterday when I sprayed the kitchen and I got a pretty good run here. Uh, I'm using the water-based Renner 851 2K Poly. It's a self-seal product. It's a really good product. It actually has a really good hang, but I just way overdid it. And actually the uh, the paper that we used here has lines in it so it was kind of tricking me because these cabinets were gray before so anyways i wanted to talk about over sanding i know i see a lot of people sometimes when they have defects or runs like this and i'll actually show you with the light so you can kind of see that spot a little bit better you can see that sag right there and um, a lot of people will go and they'll grab their da sander and uh, try to get this out you know, I've learned a lot from uh, hanging around auto body shops and stuff like that. And a lot of times I'll just go at this with a block. And the reason I do that is because when you use the tool, you actually end up removing a lot more of the material around the actual defect than you need to. So I'm going to use the Dura block. It's got uh, the, the surf prep film abrasives on it in 180 grit. And I'm going to show you how we can get this run out with minimal work without affecting all the area around it. So hold tight and we'll get started. All right guys, so like I said, I am going to use that Dura block, uh, sanding block, and we're gonna sand in an X pattern. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put our scratch going one way and then we're gonna come right back across it to cut through it. So as you can tell, just with a little bit of sanding, we're already starting to cut away at that run. So we'll just keep going and just slowly watch it because it's not going to take a whole lot. So as you can tell, I'm not sure if you can see that, but we're really starting to wear away at that run. I'm gonna keep on going a little bit until we get it out. All right, so while I was sanding that out, I realized because we put this so heavy, uh, I actually have quite a bit of texture here. You know, this coat went on really, really heavy, so I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but got a really bad orange peel. And I mean, what happened here, it looks like it really did start to sag. So this is, again, this is a great place for the block. So if I want to get this glass smooth, the same concept would apply. So I'll work this area a little bit so you can see. A lot of people ask me about, you know, uh, high gloss finishes and, you know, this is exactly what you have to do to get a high gloss finish. You've got to get that substrate super, super flat. And a lot of times, honestly, a DA is just not going to do it. So you're going to have to pull that block out. And as you can see here, that texture is really starting to go away. Still got a little problem there right here. 